Alright, so the next step that we're going to demo is on the Freedom Flight um, kit helicopter is the attachment of the center rib to the leading and trailing edge rods. So step one is the itty bitty triangle round shape goes against this rod. And you can see I'm positioning it with a toothpick because it's such a tiny part. So the triangle round shape has a flat spot on two edges and it's round on the other edge. So obviously the flat spot goes against the rod here and then the outer trailing edge rod, another rod, is going to be added here for the other flat spot. So we cut our rods a millimeter oversized just so we don't have to be so ultra precise when we position everything. So in our case the little triangle round thing does not go on the end of the rod. It goes relative to the drawing on the jig where you can see the next rod is going to come in. So you can see it would be about here. So I'm going to hold the triangle round thing against one rod. I'm going to get a single drop of glue and I want to make a glue mess on this because I don't want to stick it to the jig. Hold it in position and I'm going to glue that triangle round thing onto that rod. There is a bit of packing tape on the jig to keep you from gluing the um, this part of the construction to the jig permanently. And now that's dry. So I will do that little triangle round thing on all four of the uh, upper rotor inner trailing edge parts. And that means this one will be strong before I do the next step. The next step would be to position the rib. So the rib has a fish mouth on one end and a flat spot on the other end. That's how you can tell that it's the middle rib. So I'm going to make sure that the fish mouth, I'm holding the rib against the jig, uh, rib support, and make sure the fish mouth is around the rod and I'm going to glue the fish mouth to the rod. Let it dry for about 15 seconds and let go. Then I'm going to go around and do that to all of the uh, rotor blades, fish mouth only on the center rib. Then the last step I'll do, when I glued this little triangle round in place, I might have moved the rod a little bit. So I might have to slip a blade under here and pop it free from the packing tape to let it spring back to where it belonged. And then the last step would be to glue this flat spot, which now will be held in position to the center point of that triangle round like that. It'll probably project all the way to the rod once I pop this free. You don't want the rib to be uh, a millimeter over like that because now it's covering the spot where the next rod is going to go. And you, this, the outer trailing edge rod will not be as, as strong of a glue joint. You want this rib to point at the center of the triangle round thing.